Good evening, my friends, and welcome to Wise Conservatism's Video Side Chat this May the 6th, 2009. One of the things that I've been hearing lately, and it really bothers me, is that the Democrat Party and the liberal left in this country seem to think the Republican Party is dead also seems to me that they thought the same thing just before Reagan took over the White House and conservatism swept this whole nation. What the Democrats do not seem to realize here is that their agenda for this country is not the right agenda for this country. Liberalism, the way they're showing it to this nation right now, is nothing more than socialism personified. Karl Marx would be proud. We have a socialist in the White House now and he is doing everything he can to put future generations at risk, putting them in such debt that they will never see the light of day of it. He is stealing from future generations to get what he wants today and everybody seems to think there is nothing we can do about it. The problem is, there is. We can't get rid of what he has already spent and what Bush spent before him. That's already there. We already owe that. Our children already owe that and their children already owe that and possibly even farther down the line. But what we have to do is wake up and smell the coffee because if we don't and 2010 comes along and the Democrats hold their majority in the Senate, the White Senate and the co Congress, this country is in trouble. We are in trouble now. But nobody seems to realize what is going on. The only thing that I have seen is people who voted for Obama who are now shocked and dismayed at what he is doing. The problem is here, folks, is that Obama should be given an award for truthfulness here because he is doing exactly what he told us during his campaign that he would do. He told us during his campaign that our taxes on energy would necessarily have to skyrocket because of his plans that he wants to institute that would make it so that the oil companies and the oil drillers and the people in the petroleum industry would have to completely refit everything passing on their money that they have to spend to the consumer making the money that we pay skyrocket. Nobody listened to that. Now they're amazed that they're trying to figure out where this came from. It came from his campaign promises. The man told us what he was going to do. If you liberals do not like the direction your candidate is going, start thinking before you vote. This last time you guys voted just on the specifics of his skin color and his mantra chant of change. He didn't tell us anything about what his change was going to be except that it was going to be change and that we were going to pay for it. Next time you want to vote, listen to what the candidates say. Then you won't be concerned when what they say is what they implement. Obama is doing nothing that he didn't say he was going to do in the first place. This is Wise Conservatism's video side chat for March, May the 6th of 2009. Have a good and blessed week, and God bless America, God bless our troops, and God bless every one of you out there. We are Americans. We need to stand up for what America stands for. Have a great day.